The struggle to scale back maternal mortality and newborn mortality has been on the front burner for some time now, following a UNICEF report that every day Nigeria loses about 145 women of childbearing age, making her the second largest contributor to maternal mortality in the world. But the case is different here. On April 12, 2019, this woman was abandoned by staff of the primary health care center in Calabar, South local government area of Cross River State, for not being able to afford 20,000 naira to carry out surgical procedure for her to give birth. So I was in labor. I came here. One of the noise was beating me, pushing me outside. He said that I'm a mad woman. So I beg her, so I told her that I don't have anybody to help me. It helped me, she pushed me outside. So I was crying. I stayed outside the gate, stayed outside the gate and then hold the signboard and deliver for myself. Before people now rush and started beating her, they tell her to come and hold the baby. I was the one and carried my baby up. So one auntie is cooking. The woman is like, she knows how to deliver. The woman now run come. Remove the placenta from me. But the Cross River State Government is taking up the issue. The state primary health boss is here to see the victim, promising that every staff will be punished. The entire state is standing behind our decision at the Cross River State Primary Health Care Development Agency to suspend all the staff that have been involved until complete investigation is done and, if possible, dismissal of those staff. That will serve as deterrent to other staff, other health workers across the state. This, no doubt, is one of many untold stories of incidents happening at various health care centers across the state and in Nigeria. It is clearly a call on government to pay close attention to activities at its health facilities to avert the increasing number of avoidable deaths as a result of carelessness on the part of staff.